The ability to work with dates and time is a necessary skill for any analytics professional. In this video, I will try to explain the fundamentals of working with date time data in R. I took 5 year consumption data from Kaggle to illustrate the concept. I have shared the link of the data in description. You can download it from there. Let's start. I will change the working directory first and then I will load the data. I will execute this both command and the data is loaded. So I clicked on this power deep data frame. So there are two columns start date and value in kilowatt hour which is the power consumption in kilowatt hour. Now we will check the type of data. So I will use the command str power df. There are two columns start date, which is a character type data and value in kilowatt hour which is a numeric data. In order to perform date time operation, you have to convert the character data into a date time data. There is a function in R strip time which takes two arguments. The first argument is the text of date and the second argument is the format of date. So we will use that strip time. The first argument is the start date column. And the second is format of that. So from the below sample data, we can see the format is in DDMMYY. So we will give that format here. This abbreviation of each type of data. We have percent D percent m and per percent y represent day month and year percentage and percent m represent the hour and month and we will put the output of this function into a new column which we will give the name as date time let's execute this and if you see the power df a new column date time is created Let us now see the type of this the data. In the data of, in the new column date time with type POSIX LT is created, which is a subclass of date time. Now a new column with type date time is created. We can extract information using this column like the day, month and year of the date, month name, weekdays, etc. So let's do that. So first I will extract the day, day of the date. So for that we have to use the function format which takes date as the first argument and the abbreviation of date component as the second argument. So my date is date time. I want to extract the day. So we'll give percent D. I will store this information into a new column and I will give the name of the column as day. And let's execute this. So a new column day is created here. Similarly, we will create other columns like day of week. The first argument will be the date and the second argument will be the abbreviation of day of weeks so which is percent a. Then I will create the month. So let me copy this from the from here and paste it. I will just change the abbreviation of month which is percent time and I will create a column month name so if you see here the dollar sign is left 
and I will copy here and give the name of month name as B. It is the abbreviation for month name. Then I will create a new column year. In the abbreviation of here is percent Y, which will show the four digit year. And the last is our which we are going to use percentage. And now I will execute all at once. Select this code and execute. So you can see the new columns like day, day of week, month, month name year and hour are created. These new columns can be used to perform any operations like grouping, aggregation, etc. Summary of data is the first thing a leader or a senior stakeholder will look into. For example, whenever we see a data set, the first thought that comes in our mind is what is an average value, what is the count, etc. I will try to explain how to group data based on some predefined criteria and calculate an aggregate value or summary based on group. Now I will show how to summarize data. The first thing we are going to do is a load lab package deployer. So this package is very helpful for grouping, aggregation, filter and selection arrangement of data. And the next is group by, we have to group data. So for grouping, we have to select a data frame on which grouping has to be performed. So in our case, the data frame is power DF and it has nine columns. So there is an operator in R, which is called pipe operator. This operator will forward a value into the next function or expression. For example, the power df will serve as an input to the expression which is after this operator. So in this example, I have to group, so I am taking group by. We already told group by that you have to perform this operation on power df data frame because the output of power df is coming as an input to the group by. And now the other attributes of group by is we have to tell the column on which the grouping has to be performed. So in this example, I will take year and month name and then give one more pipe operator so that our expression will continue. And then, so what this summarize will do, it will perform the operation on each element of the group. So we have to tell R that what operation we want. First I will take minimum value and then give the function min and minimum value of consumption which is column name is value kilowatt hour then I would like to know the maximum value of each group so I will give maximum and the same value kilowatt hour then I would like to know what is the average value the so same I will give value kilowatt hour and the last is I would like to know the total value or total consumption for that group. And one more column we'd like to give count of records. So I will take count and the function is n here to get the count. So this output I would like to go as the input to view. So I will give a pipe operator and give view and execute this. So you can see like we have year, month name, minimum value, maximum value, average value, total value and count of records for each of this month in a year. 
So the records are grouped on the basis of year and then month. If, if you want that only the grouping should be, if you want the grouping to be happened only on the basis of year, you can remove the month name and then execute again. So here you can see the five year data is there and for each year we have the minimum value, maximum value, average value, total value and count of records. So this is the purpose of group by pen aggregation. We can use it for any data. I am going to redefine this query to make it more meaningful so that we can use the other libraries and convert the data from long to short format for analysis. So what I am going to do is, I have changed the query, I created a new query where I group on the basis of year, month and month name. So the output will be like this, for each you will get the month and the minimum value, average value, maximum value, total value, count of record for that month. So there will be 12 observation for each year. Now what I want is, let me remove this view and I want to continue this query. So after removing, I will use the select function and I will select basically only those columns which are relevant for analysis. So month, month name and I want average value or basically average consumption. And you will see what is the output we are getting here. So there are four uh, columns, year, month, monthly and average value. So this average value is average consumption for that month in that year. Now we will continue. Again I will remove this view and continue. So what I wanted is that instead of having records in one column with all the years, I wanted to have five new column with each year as a name. So we'll do that like that. So for that we have to use a library tidyr and execute this. These are part of tidyverse but I am using it specifically. So here we continue and I will use the function spread. spread. So for first argument is the data but we are not we, we, sh we shall not define that because we are already using the data and it's coming as a pipe operator. The next argument is the key the column which we want to spread into multiple columns. The next column is the value so value is average value or average value. So what will happen now is there will be one record for each month and the year will be spread into five columns. Let's see that. So you can see there are 12 records, one for each month and there are one column for each year. So this is how spread works. If you want to put that into the previous format, you have to use a function gather. So in this video, I try to explain how to work with date and time, how to use the group by function and create aggregate and then how to spread a column into multiple columns. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks.